Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am going to start a Let's Play survival map uh, following the map that Honeysuckle started a couple of weeks back that um, she put up uh, the seed for it and said if anybody wanted to play along that they could. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've been enjoying her videos and they are um, just plain old survival in a new world. So the first thing I'm going to do is create that new world and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and name it the same way that she named the seed, which is Honey Suckle without a space. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to leave it in survival, go to more world options. And I'm also going to type that into the seed area because that's where she put it and that's what generates the correct world. And we'll go ahead and turn on the cheats and the bonus chest just as she did and say done and then say create new world and then it will come up and load the same world that she started with and we'll just show our different ways of playing on this map and when I set up the video in YouTube I will uh, make a link to go to her videos also So the first thing that I will do is go here over here just like she did and find the chest. And what I usually do when I find the bonus chest is to go ahead and just break it up, pick up the uh, torches, and in this case there are four of them, which is always nice to get four complete torches out of it. And then I just go in and get my stuff that I've, I've picked up off the ground. And let's see, I have a chest here. I have a nice couple of nice stone axes. Oh, and a wooden one, so I'll use that one first. And then I'll go ahead and make my my um, crafting table here. Set that out and go ahead and make some wooden tools. So we can make a wooden pickaxe to start with. I'll do that. And I'll make a few more. Whoops. Oh, come on. There we go. A few more sticks. And I'm going to make another pickaxe. And sometimes I don't end up using all of my wooden tools, depending on what I find. Um, but sometimes I do. So I make a couple of shovels. And if you don't use all of your wooden tools, you can put them uh, into a furnace for um, fuel and burn them up instead of just wasting them in any way. Okay, so now I have just a little bit more planks by the time that I need um, more sticks or more uh, then I will be able to have trees. Now first thing I'm going to do though is get myself some food since we got piggies here. Go ahead and gather all these little pigs around here. Now it's my habit to also gather mushrooms when I find them. Ever since I found out about growing the huge mushrooms um, I go ahead and also of course mushroom stew which is, as long as I have both kinds of mushrooms I can make the mushroom stew I just need to have wood to make the bowls and then I have good food. So if you're in a forest or somewhere like this that has mushrooms, then you want to do that. Well, I want to do that. I don't know if you want to, but mushroom stews are, stew is a little unwieldy to carry around with you because it doesn't stack, which, you know, which kind of bugs me. I wish they would make it so it would stack. But uh, your bowls will stack at least, and you can carry around some extra bowls and some extra mushrooms, perhaps, and then you can always make more mushroom stew to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I, I can't remember which direction she took off from the spawn point, which I had meant to write down that coordinate. I'm going to actually, I'm going to probably find myself um, a spot, and I will not probably be coming, oh, that would be a nice kind of swimming pool, but I probably won't be coming back to this exact spawn point very soon at least, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do what I usually do and play in my own style, and mostly that is to gather food 
before much of anything else. And then I will start looking for here in just a little bit some cobblestone and there's there are plenty of places to get cobble out of here. I could actually just go down in here into the stream bed. In fact, you know what I might, since I already made some shovels, I'm going to go ahead and gather some sand because when I build a house, I really like to have windows in it, depending on where. Sometimes I just dig in and make a hidey hole into a mountainside, as Honeysuckle did. But other times I like to start at least a little hut with windows so I can kind of see what's happening uh, during the night, then during the early part of the day and all that kind of stuff. So I'll go ahead and gather. Whoops, well, I didn't really want to get that close, but that's all right. I'm just kidding. Go ahead and take the sand back to the bank here. Like I said, I probably won't be back here. I'm going to take a little bit of dirt. All right, and I think, let's see, get up here where I can kind of look around a little bit. We're just about noon, so I have plenty of time. I think I'm going to go, I see coal right up there. And I think I'll just go on up this mountainside here and get up into these extreme hills that are over here. There's usually a good, there are good places to go ahead and build on these areas. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Looks good to me. And what do we have up here? Sheep. Yay, sheep. We can make a bed right away. Oops. It would be helpful if I use my sword. Although, of course, a shovel will do. A hand would do if you hit the things hard enough enough times. <laughs> but sure, it's hard on the fingers. <laughs> okay, so we have more sheep over there, but I have enough for my bed right now. So I think I'll leave those sheepies alone over there. I've got some coal right here that I can grab. It's a good starter. And, of course... Sometimes when you're kind of hoping for just one, you end up finding a whole bunch of them and you get waylaid, which is usually what happens to me. If I find one, I'm liable to find at least half a dozen or so. So I'll go ahead and grab what's here. And at least I'll have more torches. I won't get caught without torches at night. Or in some kind of a cave, because I have a tendency to find a cave opening and go, oh boy, and just go down and many times when I'm just playing in a survival world, I will find out that my first home, or maybe even my forever home in the world, is inside of a mountain, rather than being out in the open air. Now, over there in that forest, which I was trying to think, was it just a forest? There were spruce trees, I think, so probably taiga. I wasn't even looking to see what it was. Um, I like, I kind of like to make tree houses. Um, I really like to do that when I get into the roofed forests as well to um, build houses up in the top of those great big old dark oak trees. Really like that. Okay, so I got lots of coal out of here, quite a bit. Let me get back out of this hole. There we go. And go this way, and then go on up to the mountain. I like going up to the mountaintop when I'm first in a map to kind of see what's around. There's more sheep up there, and since he's up here, I think I'll go ahead and get him too. Since I don't have to go back across the river, I'll go down and get that that wool and that mutton in just a few minutes. I will be going down. I'm not going to bother with the coal up here. Whoa, I don't really want to go this way. Let's see if I can kill him. Um, yeah, I think I'll go on down, leave him alone. Uh, where am I going to go? Right here. There we go. Rather not be jumping off of high places too much. Not yet. <laughs> okay. More mutton and more wool. They ought to make it so that you can make wool coats or something like that for this kind of weather. There we go. There's that one that came down. I'll go ahead and pick this up. And I'm liable to end up you know, making my hidey hole in this mountain, which I can't remember for sure, but this might even be the same one that Honeysuckle started into. Not real sure about that. I know she dug into the wall um, of a mountainside, and this might even be it. So I just got finished watching the video a couple hours ago, but short-term memory. Shame on me. I should have paid attention. Okay. 
More coal, more coal. So if I could find some iron, that would be really nice because I could get my first iron implements. But at least I'll have plenty of torches and plenty of coal to cook my meat. And that is good. Always good to not have to eat raw meat. Yeah, I do have another one of these. Ooh, I will have to get some wood. I do need to get some wood before I dig in. Okay, I better start doing that pretty soon. Just one tree will do what I need. I tend to push it. I do have my game set on normal. That's where I usually play. Once in a while I'll go out and play on peaceful or even just stay on normal and play in creative for a little bit depending on what I want to do. And you know if I find a village right away I tend to like to work on the village in uh, creative. Oh that is a big oak. I don't think I want to mess with that. Oh my. I should have stayed on the other side probably. Okay well all right. What I'll probably do is go ahead and start on the tree then and I will come back and pick it up if I start and then don't get done but because I do not leave trees just hanging with the you know leaves halfway undone. I will get the whole tree at some point. I might even just build right up here into this. We'll see how that goes. I have a little bit of time and it is going uphill. I'll go ahead and do this. Take this off of here and go on up here. Okay. Um, All right. I usually kind of tend not to get the oak trees because I get so tired of oak. You know, for a long time, we that's all we had was the oak. And I really prefer most of the time to use the other trees, birch being my favorite. Okay, now I will have to get back up here and do something. Oops. All right. Get, oh, this way is where I need to go. Okay, so I'll climb up a little bit more. Isn't anything going to bother me very much from here? I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get these couple and place. <sighs> picky, picky, picky. Okay. All right. I think go up here and uh, kind of climb back up. Let's see. Where's that? Where's that wood? Put, put my wood in there and just climb up on it a little bit. And go up and get some more. There we go. Just go on this leaf here. And get right up in here where most of it's not going to fall down to the ground. It's going to fall on me instead. Just kind of find out where the rest of these are. Because there's bound to be more in this giant oak tree. Otherwise, these leaves would be already disappearing pretty much, and they're not. Oh, an apple. That's cool. Okay. Go ahead and pick this off. Now, I could get some spiders up here, of course. But mostly everything else is going to leave me alone in here. And I can make my bed when I'm ready here. I can go ahead and set up shop here. And didn't get any cobblestone yet, but I can make my bed. Um, and I do have wood. So I'm, I'm pretty much set for the night. Oops. I didn't really want that to fall down there. Uh, get right up here like this. I let it go, and it came to me. Good. Grab these. Now I do have to start watching it because before long here I will get this last piece of wood. I think maybe this is it here. I just want to check for sure. Well, nope, there's a couple more. At least one more. And if I take them out, then the leaves will all start to fall. So I'll chop out these and I'll have to go get those as soon as it gets to be daylight. I don't hear anything down there anyway. I think nothing realized where I am. I'll go ahead and pick up these saplings before it's too late here. All right. Looks like that's it. Maybe I'll check just a little bit more to make sure. I don't want to take the last one until I'm ready to go down. And I think I could actually make myself a little shelter in here if I really want to. 
I think what I'm going to do though is just make my bed, sleep in it, and then get down out of the tree and go on exploring. Okay, so grab that one. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and set up my crafting table. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my wood and put in my legs to my bed. And there's my bed. And I'll pick this up. Alright. And I'll go ahead and place my bed down right here. Oh, I have to place it where there's a solid footing. Okay, it won't work there. I have to put two pieces of wood then. I will do that. Alright. Put another piece of wood there. Then I'll put my bed down. There we go. And sleep in the bed. And along comes morning. And I'll go ahead and pick it up. And I can do this. And start going down. Just make sure there was actually more wood than I thought. Pick those up. That'll come down. Make sure that I don't want to leave any up here. Because if I do, then the tree won't come down all the way like it's supposed to. Give me all the saplings and all that kind of stuff. All right, saplings, speaking of, grab those while I'm here, and we'll just, you know what, I climbed up. I was going to say, if I do that, I'm going to fall for sure. But I can get right out of the tree here. We'll start picking up things and let it go ahead and decay. I see a hole back there behind that waterfall. I might go investigate that. Just might go do that. Get this out of here, and I have... 19 oak saplings already, and I'm going to go, go ahead, and, oh, you know, that's one reason that it was doing it. It was a double tree. I didn't even, wasn't even aware of that. That was a second tree feeding into the, the first one that started down here. Okay, there we go. That's good. We got lots of saplings. And uh, um, as Honeysuckle did, I will be saving those until I find a place where I'd rather make a more permanent home and then I will start my own tree farm. Now I really like the way that she did that in her episode 4. She made uh, some nice special little places uh, with uh, cobblestone or regular stone and uh, planted her trees in uh, little planter-like areas and that was really kind of cool. I like that. So I don't know if I'll do anything really fancy like that or not, but I usually just plant all my trees together, and I like to make them grow in as small a space as possible, which you can just you can plant any of the trees that we have in the game right next to each other, and they will grow. It, uh, for the dark oak, it takes four saplings being planted together in a square in order for them to grow at all. But the other trees, oh, there's see, there's another piece of that oak couple more pieces. There we go. That's why it wasn't all disappearing. Anyway, um, you can plant your, your trees just right next to each other and get this really huge tree to work with. And there are advantages to that. When you have monsters out at night and you want to be out uh, harvesting your trees, you can climb up like a, make yourself a spiral staircase up into the trees and you can just harvest away to your heart's content because most of the time if you get up there you know even if it's just turning dark most of the monsters are not going to be following you up the tree and if they do then you can pick them off one by one as they come up the staircases so it makes a pretty good place to hide out for most of the night I'm not going to bother about those I've got plenty of saplings to plant when I get ready to do so all right so I have Oak wood, I have oak here. What do we have? Oh, that's oak wood. There we go. My eyes are pretty tired tonight. It's been a couple of a long couple of days. Been working on my husband's checkbook today. We moved recently and things have been kind of really in a an uproar. And uh, he actually got moved into the house where we are last night. Oh, that is so cool. I really want to climb that falls. Um He's been in the cabin 
my sister's cabin that we've been living in for six years until now and we bought this house with my daughter and her husband okay I was gonna go all the way up but I don't think I will all right um, and uh, last night he got his bed moved in so we are now officially a family of ten here in the fam in the house which is an older farmhouse uh, that does not have the fields to go with it but we have the barn we have uh, a little shop area a nice uh, garage we have a mother-in-law suite that my husband and I I guess it's just the in-law seat suite um, anyway we are going to be really happy here okay now I need to make some more torches and I'm, I've been sitting here trying to think what it is that I'm trying to do while I've been jabbering so I'm gonna put most of my coal up there and I'm sure I'll be having some more there we have plenty of torches to do with because when I find a hole in the ground I tend to not come out as I mentioned so we have found this one here and let's see I usually will go uh, down and to the left oh well that doesn't make for very far unless whoops where are my shovels okay unless this does go through to another part of the cave system and we will find that out in just a second or two yep it does so we'll figure out what's going on here and wooden shovels of course aren't much better than your hands but they are a little faster oh okay so well it very possibly does go on through even further than that but I'm not gonna waste time burrowing into that right now when there's another one right over here and I want to watch out for this lava and it's, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a little trick here that you may or may not have seen there's the source now I could put a block into there I could take a bucket and scoop it out or I can put a torch into it and kill two birds with one stone huh except that evidently that there we go I was thinking it might be a little deeper so what it does is it kills whatever's in the block momentarily enough to make if that is a source block it makes whatever it is in there either water or lava stop flowing and it provides light for you when the lava is extinguished there's more coal what I usually do when I'm playing in here in a place like this make enough light to go that way a little bit and I'm going to continue off this way and I'll come back and mine the resources because I have enough torches to last me a while so I just kind of go in okay underground stream here with lots of coal underneath it and quite a bit of space in there doesn't look like anything can spawn in there so that's all right they won't spawn in the water of course and unless there were some empty places for them to go they still wouldn't okay we find out if this is another dead end and it's all right if it is at least I'll have it lit up and cordoned off it looks like maybe it goes up into another area oh right back to where I was before okay then I mean, it does look like maybe it continues up here a little bit let's check it out and that's where I came in all right so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and just stick a torch up here looks like we're stopped here again okay uh, I know that this is here and I'm not gonna investigate that right now I don't think hmm no oh, <laughs> baby zombie little little voracious things and he startled me too I mean I better eat something which means I have some apples thankfully so oh, something else coming at me pretty soon they're falling from somewhere because I heard him I need to get up to get at least that far just coming out of that area right there oh <laughs> startle startle you'd think I'd know better by now and I'm out of sword there so we'll use shovel oh and I have to respawn okay so I have my coordinates on and it's a good thing because I did something that I rarely do. <laughs> uh, I don't have a place before I went down in a hole. Okay, so we're at 105, 62, 132. Okay, 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and respawn. As soon as I can get my pointer back here. There we go. And that puts me back out here. And you know what? I'm going to grab this place. Oh, I did sleep in that bed. Oh, I picked the bed up, of course. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the coordinates out here, which is 240, 70, and 199. And I'm going to go ahead and use my teleporting. I could walk back to there, you know, going by the coordinates, but um, I'm not going to. 62, 132. I'm just going to go ahead and teleport in there and pick up my stuff. And be a little more careful now. All right. There's all my stuff. I think I've got everything. I'm going to go ahead and climb myself up into this little hole here. And at least I'll see whatever's coming at me if something else does, which they very well may. All right. We have axes down here. I have my pickaxe. I have some torches. My raw food that hasn't been cooked yet. And I, have, I should have another st yeah, stack of torches here. Put that in here. I have some cobblestone and some dirt. And that's brown wool. Okay, shovel. What's left of a shovel? And there's more wool. Okay, what do we have here? Some gravel. I'll go ahead and go put the gravel in there. And some sand that I'm holding on to for glass. And I do not. Oh, I do have another sword. Okay, good. All right. More of that. And my bed. Okay. Mushrooms. All right. So. I at least have a sword to put in my hand right now. And since I don't hear anything, I'm going to jump myself over here and go ahead and take out the coal that's here. And I see that there is some iron in there, and I need to make myself a stone pickaxe, and I'm going to need to do that pretty soon anyway. So I'm getting down towards using this one up. <laughs> so try not to be jumpy again. Okay. Okay. Jump down in that water. Oh, I see another piece there. I'm going to get that first. Now I tend to, especially right at the beginning, like this, when I am mining for coal or anything else, I'll pick up cobblestone along with it. Did I see something that I missed up there? No. I do have some things I need to go back and check in there, I think. Um, because um, I hadn't built my furnace yet, and I do need to cook my food, and I do need, I will need to eventually here um, smelt, smelt that uh, iron. Okay, I see more of the coal over here, so I'll go ahead and grab that. And it's right underneath there. And the reason I'm not going down deeper than that to do this is, as you probably know already, if you're standing in the water, you're already starting to not be able to breathe, and it makes it harder to mine anything, and it uh, takes takes longer while you're while you're being having a hard time breathing. So I don't usually dig down past one level down, or don't stand past one level down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my crafting table out again. Right there will be just fine. And make myself some more sticks. And make some stone implements here. I'll make at least a couple of these. And I'll, I'll go ahead and use the wooden one for most things, but I do want to get the iron out of here. And then let's see, I could use a couple of stone swords, so I'll do that. And get that one up here for a spear, and eventually I'll probably just burn it up. And I'm going to do the same thing with some shovels here. A couple of those, and pretty soon I'm going to have to find a place to at least make a stash chest, because obviously I have more than I really need in here to go treasure hunting and all that kind of stuff. I believe I do have a space 
to put in some iron. So iron ore. I was hoping that that would be a little bit bigger of a of a uh, deposit there, but it's not. All right. All right. What do we have here? Okay. Pretty full up. Okay. So I probably uh, 18 coal. Since this does seem to be turning into quite a uh, nice cave system. Did I leave anything up here? I don't think I did. Everything's just... I need, some, I need to... Uh, oh, okay, this is this is the out. Here. I was thinking it was the other way. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just put my house, I think, right over here, close to this entry, so this opening. This is probably a good place to build a house in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mine for some more stone or cobblestone. Maybe I'll make it out of the andesite or the diorite. It looks like... Oh, I can't right now. Darn it. Okay. Cobblestone it is. Just go ahead and start with the cobblestone. Or did I already have some diorite? Okay, I can do that. I can go for the diorite then. That's pretty. We'll use that. And I'm like compulsive about not just leaving jagged things hanging anywhere. So I'll always like take that extra one there, even though I was just looking for the diorite. I will usually clean off anything else that's hanging in the way, just because that's me and I'm compulsive. You know, I'm, I like to say that I'm, um, although I'm not really actually OCD as in what it, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, um, I have a friend that calls OCD old crazy Dane, and so that's what I am. I'm OCD in that way. <laughs> I am compulsive about some things and always have battled a little bit of that. I like things to be perfect, you know, nothing is ever perfect, but I like to strive toward that. And I like things to look neat and clean and orderly, although I am not a great housekeeper by any means, that kind of thing. But I do like setting things up in a neat and orderly fashion which a lot of times <sighs> means that I end up going symmetrical when I know that is not really the most beautiful thing. So I, I fight that all the time. Not, not giving in and making things symmetrical. I, I can do better, but <laughs> I don't usually. You'll find me a lot making square things, or at least um, rectangular things. <laughs> Not real good about making odd shaped houses and all that kind of stuff, although I admire them when people do make them. I don't want to go off there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go over here and close off my little square hidey hole. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and make it up like this, and I'll make my door going up for a reason. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, although I may end up going out this way and putting some glass out there. I'll probably expand that direction. And then I'll have this whole cave system here to explore into without having to do a lot of extra digging to make a branch mine, at least not to start with. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and put this crafting table. I think I'll just build it into the wall here. And I'm going to make go ahead and make two furnaces, I think. I'm always doing that, building things and then taking them back down again. Okay, so I'm going to put my crafting table here. And I'll put, uh, I'll make two furnaces. Like that. And place those right here. And I'll put nine pieces of coal in that one. And nine pieces of coal in that one. And actually before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put my wooden shovel in here. And what happened to my iron? There it is. I'm going to go ahead and throw that iron in there. And then immediately I can throw in my wooden uh, sword. And then I'll throw in my wooden pickaxe. And that gets those out of my inventory um, without having to just like throw them away somewhere. Then I'll put that back. All right, up in the top one, I'm going to throw in my one raw chicken. 
Now I wouldn't would normally I would keep my raw pork chops in the hopes of finding a village, but I'm pretty sure there isn't one really close uh, because of having seen into the fourth episode that uh, Honeysuckle has posted. And even though she finds a plains fairly close to here, I did not see any signs of a village. So I'm going to go ahead and cook my pork chops when I get through with my mutton. And then uh, I'll save up for um, raw pork chops to trade to a villager another time. Alright, I have some wood here to go ahead and make my first couple of chests, double chests. And I'll put the... No, I already got the chests in there. Blue. Two chests. And if I... Yeah, I might. I can make another chest. Let me see. I think I'll do that. I'm going to put some slabs up there. Then I have two more chests to do here. And I'll go ahead and make just like that. Make six slabs. And put two of them up here. Like that. And anything under a semi-transparent block like that. Uh, that is stairs or glass, which is fully transparent. Or fence posts. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is. I think there's something else. Um, anyway, gates, for one thing. Um, if anything is above your chest that you're putting in, then they will open if it is semi-transparent or transparent. So it looks like it's a full um, ceiling there, but it is just the uh, the slabs. As you can see, they're, they're open above there. Okay, so I'll fill that in. And we have some more mutton coming out of the oven there. And I have a little bit of iron, so I can make my first iron pick, but I also want to have a door. So I need... Where is my oak wood? So I'm going to go ahead and make three doors. And get out here. I haven't heard anything out here. I think I found the only zombies in the place before. Alright, so I'll put my door up there. And I'll tell you why I did it that way in just a moment. Okay, it is daytime out here. Oh, okay, fine. It's a zombie villager, which is a good sign. It generally means that there are some villages around. Alright. Put up some light in here. Whoops, light. Oh, light. I'm hitting the wrong keys here. Not gravel. Alright. And I think I'll go ahead and just put some more light out here too. Put one over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and extend out from here. Take up the hurriedly placed ones that I did before. And that's fine. Take up that one. There. Uh, put that there. Okay. Now I like to place my torches four squares apart. Three in between them. Every fourth square because um, that gives you a pretty optimum coverage and you aren't going to have any big, huge, dark places. Gives you good lighting. And keep anything from spawning right exactly in here. We'll go down and take out this... Oh, I'm going to have to dig down some more. He's going to start coming up here pretty soon. Okay. And I don't want that to happen. And here he comes. So we're going to knock him back a little bit. <laughs> Let him blow up. Because I couldn't get to my sword. Why am I hitting the wrong keys? At least he didn't hurt me, and he didn't really hurt anything. He just took out a few blocks down here. So that's good. We have trees here. We have coal over there. Another entrance to the cave over there. Um, some more animals. I know there's more animals around the nest, too. So that's good. We're, we're in good shape here. This is a good place to hide and go mining. All right, so the reason that I put my door up here is I am in normal mode. And in uh, anything above easy, zombies can if they are on the level where they can beat on the top panel of your door, they will beat on it, and then they'll bring you the door and beat you with it. They really like to do that. 
first time that happened to me, I was like, whoa, I don't want that to happen. So I learned to just put the door up one step, one block, and then you don't have to worry about it. They can't beat it down because they can't reach the top block, the top panel. So they can beat on the bottom panel all they want and make a lot of noise, but they can't break your door down. And it's nothing for me to hop in over that um, little uh, uh, step there, but they can't do it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here and put my bed in here. And where is it? There it is. And then I'm going to start loading up these chests. And so here I have a nice little hidey hole with enough stuff to keep me going for quite a while. And I have more. Ah, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I just want seven in there, just divide it evenly. Okay. So I have my little hidey hole, I have a place to go mining, I have resources to gather, I have things to put away, I can make my iron pick so that I can, if I find diamonds down there in that place, I can get diamonds really early on. So I will go ahead and leave you with this episode, and as I said, I will, as soon as I get this edited, I will go ahead and get it posted, and then I will link to Honeysuckle's first video and then you can kind of watch and see how we end up with the same map and I thank you for watching.